which is designated sacred space for tigers by law. So guys, uh, how was the movie? The man has taken 10 years to, you know, get his dream on the big screen and finally it's here. And I'm really proud that, you know, all of you have loved the film. There's romance, there's separation, there's action in the movie. And Warren has done a fantastic job. And this is because of him that, you know, we get to see you start for the last time on the big screen. Thank you, Warren. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. We're going to open up for a few questions to, if there are any, but I just want to thank my parents who are in the back. You know, it, it takes a lot of understanding <laughs> uh, when your son says, hey, I'm going to go for 10 years and follow a wild animal instead of growing up. So thank you. <laughs> Uh, also, I've got crew here. Vishal worked on the film. Sujit is somewhere. Uh, Shashank is somewhere to the illustrations. Ritesh is back to help me with the graphics, and I think I called him every day in the pandemic. <laughs> so thank you for everyone who helped me with the film and supported me. But uh, if you do have any questions, you know, please let me know. And there's a lot of friends over here who also listened to my stuff about this movie for a while. My friend Vieira is over here, who I've driven crazy. Uh, so. <laughs> Thank you all. My cousin Verna is somewhere over here too. She also has listened to this film quite a bit. But I'm, I may be missing somebody, but I'll, if I see you, you know. But, but I want to open up for questions. So yeah, please go ahead, yeah. Were you in any danger? Uh, not really, because when you're in a Jeep, it's, it's relatively safe filming tigers. So the, when you walk, you know, it's, it's a little different. But uh, I just wanted to experience what it was like to, to what these people did when, before they got killed. Uh, you know, I, 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 yeah, they were, and and, uh, and the, the, those are the ones you want. You you want to get the shots, you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. What took ten years to get the movie out? What took ten years? Yeah. I mean, so some of it is just you know the story evolved as you saw because I was making a natural history documentary, then then all of a sudden it became something a lot more bigger and complicated. So it's for that reason, then just learning on the job, and then also budget. You know, because it, it was an independent film, and so I played multiple roles, and and then also just trying to maintain a very high standard of doing it again and again, and and then the independent film world right now is is sort of in its worst, um, you know, case. Yes. What do you think about the cheetahs that have been brought to India? <laughs> okay, I'm not a wildlife expert, and I get these questions. I'm a filmmaker, so but I, I think if I think to the extent that it takes away critical tiger habitat, it's a problem. To the extent in which it, it increases protected areas in the country, it's, it's a good thing. Yeah. Hi, just a quick question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, so uh, okay. <laughs> uh, thank you, first of all, to put this documentary together. We've, I think, since we started our wildlife journey, we've heard about Tiger 24 and Noor, Nori, the whole Jing Mang, right? So, it's great to watch them here. Uh, we noticed that uh, Rambal's son didn't really say anything on camera yeah so when you you know off the camera just wanted to ask did he say anything about the incident yeah yeah so they agreed to the interview and when i went there and i asked him those questions he kind of froze because it was still so so fresh and then his mother started crying so i, I cut the interview but then i actually had one of my crew members sujit go back and and do a more traditional interview and he did have an extended um interview but to me, uh, as a filmmaker, when I look back at the edit, everything that had to be said was in the emotion. So we didn't need someone standing there and, and you know, recounting something. So for me, in the edit, I felt like her crying and him freezing communicated everything you needed to communicate about that, about that sequence. And it also allowed it to intercut pretty well with the newer roaring sequence. Which, you know, I hate these intermissions over here, but, you know, this is how it works. <laughs> but, yeah, but for those reasons, I felt like it, it worked without doing a long-form interview. But we have the interview, and I watched it, you know. Yes, sir. First of all, thank you for putting such a beautiful documentary together. It's, I think, probably the first time we are seeing big cats on the big screen in India. Uh, so my question is, uh, you have been working for now like 10 years or more than 10 years and not only in Ranthambore but uh, I believe Bandhavgarh and other national parks too. Uh, 
when Valmiki Thapar said that let the tiger die, you need not intervene. What's your view on that? Means you have interacted to so many people. So what do you think it would happen? Uh, I mean, I, th I think it's uh, all wildlife is now managed. So you know what what we see in a traditional nature doc is kind of a lie that it's these expansive wild spaces that have all these tigers. And the truth is, wildlife's managed. There's very little areas. The critical tiger habitat has villas just around it. If you keep going, my hotel is right there, for example. So. I think Valmik Tupper is a tiger expert, and his opinion is always going to be better than mine. I think he knows a lot more about this stuff. But, but if you're a field director and your dominant male tiger is, is in trouble, you're in trouble when he dies. So you try to do whatever you can to keep him going. And, and if you look at what they did, they actually treated him in the wild. So they were trying to keep the management as minimal as possible. And would it have been better if he died? Maybe, I don't know, you know, but there was other stuff going on in Ranthambora before that. They moved a whole bunch of tigers to Sariska, so the entire tiger society was disrupted. So there was enough stuff going on that I, I felt like management was trying to do the best decision. But wildlife is somewhere where you can never make a perfect call because it's all these variables, which I hope came through in the film, because everyone wants to make it black and white. Is he a man or is he not a man? Was it right? Was it wrong? And it's, it's actually a lot more of a gray area. And, you, you can't make a perfect call, and I, I think they did the best they could at the time. And everyone should remember that India is still the number one country in the world for tigers. It could be better, we want it to be better, but we're still the best at doing it. Uh, do you think that if the fourth killing went differently in any way, that the result would have changed for T24? What do you mean, would have been different? Like do you think that if the fourth killing didn't happen, then he still would have eventually got to center the zoo? Well, that would, that would have been a different fourth killing then, yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, I mean, he, there would have to be another killing because he hadn't killed anyone in three years because it was 2010, two in 2012, and then there was nothing for three years. And so, yeah, he would have still been there probably, yeah. yeah. I have a question. Yes. Before the movie, in the start of the movie, you showed that India had 40,000 tigers. Okay, now we are left to uh, around 3,000. So, like... If you want to have more tigers, how do you think we, we, we would, uh, you know, have more jungles and more tigers? Do you, do you think it is possible now or tigers should lower down the territory now? What, what do you feel? Uh, I mean, we, we don't have enough habitat. Correct, for tigers. So, yeah, so, yeah. so how could we increase the forest and how could we increase the tigers? Is it possible or will they get extinct in time? I mean... They're, the protected areas are protected by law, so so, 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 so so as long as the core areas stay protected, that's going to have some tigers. But if they're going to keep invading the little remaining critical tiger habitat, they're going to they're going to go away. And so I think um, as long it's about habitat, it's not about the tigers. It's about habitat, and and, and uh, people like us who in cities have taken away critical tiger habitat. So that's, we're kind of to blame in a way, and that's why it's so difficult for wildlife officials to manage the little remaining tiger habitat. That's why there is actually conflict, because the habitat's not enough. So yeah, yeah. So one question. Yeah, yeah okay. Actually, recently only I was in Rantambor, and uh, what I observed was there was uh, this Ganesh temple, and a lot of vehicles were going up and down yeah. and up and down. And there was a lot of hooliganism, like there were these guys, triple seed and you know, all of that and they're honking continuously so this was th I I was at a, at a stretch for four five days and I was watching this happen daily so isn't the forest uh, uh, whatever authority they're not allowed to shut down these uh, places of worship and there was couple one more uh, I guess Lakshmi temple or something where people are it was in the very core area and you no know, people are going Sh up with the, the, one more Lakshmi temple also there and uh, shift temple so the people were going up on bikes there honking and all of that nonsense was going on so the forest is not planning to shut these things for the uh, i mean shift it outside yeah if the forest shut down what the villagers villagers want to do which is go in and, and worship and go on their parakrama and all that it would be actually worse for tigers because they are the ones who were removed from the core they used to live there that's where they lived with tigers. And they act, so when they got removed, it's like you being asked to move from wherever you stay, which you wouldn't, may not want to do. They were compensated a little bit, but the deal was they were still allowed to go and worship. And, and I think 
the tiger reserves also have, besides preserving tigers, they, they preserve our culture. So I think going in there, and I've gone with the village, I've done these walks, and I, and I actually find it fun. I get, and most of the time it's not dangerous, but it is disruptive, but it, it's like I said, it's not, it's something where we're doing a compromise. It's not ideal, you know, but there were compromises today, like people came late for my movie, you know, what can I do, you know? So. <laughs> so, so, uh, yes. so my, no, my name is Sarita. I am a film writer और मैं जानना चाहती हूँ आपसे कि कैसे ये कौन सी बात थी जिस कारण आपने Tiger 24 subject को ही pick किया और being a filmmaker आप कोई भी subject pick कर सकते थे कहीं ना कहीं आप आपको कोई चीज inspire की होगी तो I want to know the inspiration behind the Tiger 24. Well, you know that shot when he's in the water, you know when he's looking right at me. That that's the first time I saw him. So I I didn't have a great reason. I just liked him. I thought it was a good shot. I liked him. I felt the connection. I said, who's this guy? Let me follow him. And everyone was like, oh, he's a male. You know, we think he killed some people. You shouldn't follow him. And I was like, you know, it's my time. I'm just going to do it. And then I didn't expect three years later to have all this controversy around him. So it wasn't like I planned this thing to be this amazing, complicated story. It just happened. And then I ended up being the only guy in the world with the 4K professional footage of this animal. And uh, yeah, and that's why I did it. I think documentaries are like fishing. You know, you don't know what fish you're gonna get, and like you might get a small one, you might get nothing, you might get a huge fish. So, in my case, it was a big fish with a lot of complications. You know. Chalte gaye aur karma banta gaya. Okay, so where should we go here? Yes, ma'am. Um, it's we don't know whether he was a man eater or not. That's up for debate, and there are two sides. Either you move T twenty four out, or you leave him in there, and um, maybe in three or four years he kills someone else. You don't know. So if you were the forest department or in charge, what decision would you have taken? I mean, I mean, I'll answer your question, but I think you know it's. The, the, the film is really about all the complications involved in removing this animal. It's not about whether their decision was right or wrong. At, at the time that they removed T24, he was the only tiger killing a lot of people. And the villagers were really upset. I know because I was there, the guards were really upset. Of course, I didn't want it to be removed. You know, no one, even they didn't want it to be removed. They could have removed him after the first attack if they wanted to, but they had to make some kind of a call at that time. And I think at the time with the information they had, they felt it was the right move to manage the Tiger Reserve, not, they had, not that they had something against T24. And if you actually look at all the paperwork, they never say he's a bad man-eater. They just say danger to human life, which he's had other killings, it's a problem. So once he was removed, there was no killings for about two years. Then another tiger, I think T98, killed within his territory. So then the question becomes, is it the territory of the tiger? And then a couple of years later, there was a tiger called T104, who actually left the core area which now all of you know, and went out to the village and killed villagers three in one year. And he's actually locked up in an enclosure within Rathamore now. So you, you could argue that you know, in that sense they made a mistake, but how are they gonna predict the future? So I mean, that's sort of the point of the film. They're like managing a situation that's imperfect and doing the best they can. Yeah. Yeah. So I was wondering this query throughout the movie that what if T24 had to return back to the uh, jungle, what would happen to T57 then? I mean, I, I, a great question. <laughs> uh, I, I, that would have been great, and uh, would have been like a great fight between 57 and, and, and T24, and then and I would hope like that Sujith and Vishal would get the shots for me, <laughs> or I would get them. <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, I, I hope they don't, and then part of the mission of the film is to, is, is to change that. So in the end, what we talk about uh, is, is, you know, about some of what, what's called ecosystem services, and now there's actually primary literature on the value of a tiger reserve and how it actually helps people outside the tiger reserve, like the climate change and 
you know, preventing soil erosion and, you know, carbon sequestration, all those kinds of things, which are sound academic, are actually important. So I think there's, there's, a, there's a value in keeping it, keeping the tiger reserves. And uh, so hopefully, in my mind, they should just be around. So I'm not, I'm not thinking that they're not going to be around. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. First of all, Mr. Pereira, I would like to congratulate you. It's a super piece of work and an excellent piece of dedication. It takes about eight to ten years. So first of all, I would like to congratulate on that. Excellent job. Uh, while now my question is, while I agree that moving him to a better place was an agreeable and a manageable solution considering a word eyes view from the forest department considering the safety of the villagers as well but moving him to a zoo uh, wasn't it a uh, wasn't there a better place than a zoo maybe a buffer zone or maybe some larger natural habitat around Ramthampur why they moved him to a zoo and not a natural habitat around the forest. So let me ask you, so if you're the field director of a different park and I'm gonna give you T24, a known man-eater, according to some people, you take him on, then he kills two villagers, you're fired. That's why. <laughs> okay, last, last few questions. Yes, 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 here, please. Yes. Hi, so I'm a wildlife photographer and filmmaker myself. Yes. I really, really enjoyed the fact that you worked in tandem with the forest department. A lot of them were escorting you around these places where you were walking and there seemed to be a lot of involvement with the department. <coughs> I very rarely get to see that. Did you have any limitations? Did you have any... Sorry, that was off. All right. Did you have any limitations uh, with that aspect or how forthcoming were they to you? Do they see you as a potential problem because the, you're exposing a lot of things that are going on? How did that go around? Right, right. It's a, it's a great question. But I mean, you know, for anyone who's done any kind of filming in a tiger reserve, you feel like a little boy, like when you're in there, you don't want to talk to the department because they're going to find out what you're doing wrong. Like, are you going in the wrong road? Did you get too close to the tiger? Did you go to the wrong zone? So in the beginning, I didn't want to talk to these guys. I didn't want anyone knowing what I'm doing. and. But then once this tiger became what he became, I had to talk to them. So I had to go to the office and I had to ask like, okay, I need to film this. I need to do this. I need to go and walk where T24 killed people, which is a lot. And I, so I, I befriended them. And I think they just realized like this guy is obsessed, like he's not going to stop. And, and so I just give him what he wants. Because I mean, there were some people who didn't give me anything I wanted. There was a person, I'm not going to name, who didn't give me this footage I needed. Uh, from one of the attacks and I literally went with my crew can tell you door to door saying who was there that day I need the footage because I'm going to find a clip and I found a few clips but it got to that person that this guy is not stopping and so eventually they gave it to me and so the department just after some time just felt like you know it might as well help them out and they also realized I was being pretty neutral which is what I tried to do you know show both sides and um and I've never done anything extreme, like I've never had an extreme emotional point of view, like the department's bad or something. It's always been to me a complicated thing that they're managing. And if you actually take the time to see what they do, it's, it's difficult. They're moving prey around, their villagers are going in. It's not an easy job to do and you have to respect these guards who even go and patrol on foot and everything. So of course it's going to be improved. but. Yeah, now they're cool. They came to the Jaipur Film Festival. I had, the, I had the field directors there with me. I mean, when would you think you would have the chief wildlife warden, the field director, chief of the forest watching a movie with you? You know, it's, it's like I never imagined that would happen. So I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad it evolved. You know? Okay, last well, few yeah, questions. Hi, yeah, yeah. hi. Uh, firstly, congrats on such a brilliant film. And uh, you put in 10 years in this uh, film. I'm sure you must have developed a personal emotional attachment with the mm. 24 now that we know that T24 passed away just a few days back. So uh, how do you recall your personal bond with T24? And now that you know that you've made a film on it and now it's gathering so much of uh, love, yeah. how do you recall your bond with it? I, I mean, you know, you, 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 I felt so connected to him. That's why I kept following him. And, and you know, and after a while, I felt like I, uh, you know, really knew him, and but I don't know what he thought about me. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this, I, of course I felt bad when he was removed. 
I, I didn't feel that bad when he when he passed away. I actually felt I felt something for a moment, and then I felt good because I felt like him living in that zoo in that condition, and I get way more updates than the average person as to how he's doing. <laughs> to me, I wish they had shot him after, or, put, or put him to sleep after it was decided he would never be put back because a wild tiger, a dominant male tiger in any enclosure, that's torture. So if they've decided we're not putting him back in the wild, he should be put to sleep in my opinion, you know? So yeah. Yes, ma'am. I mean, he, he died because of cancer, and there were other complications, but you know, if you saw him in the last couple of months, he was limping on, on three legs, and you know, his whole, yeah, it, was, it was not pretty. So I'm, I'm glad that they, you know, they did, they did so many things to keep him going, but it's like, how many times can you tranquilize this guy and try to do stuff, you know? You, no, Rajasthan was not into that, and I think, to be honest, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I think, they're so afraid of the activist pointing a finger. So they'd be like, oh, you shot him, you did this, you did you know, So I, I think that's the reason why they didn't do anything, you know? Yeah. Was it tough to stay neutral? Was it tough to stay neutral? Yeah. A little bit in the beginning, because you know, you interview enough people, they piss you off. You're like, I can, I can screw this guy, you said it, you know? <laughs> but, but, then, but then later on as a filmmaker, it's not that difficult, because you know, you can, you can do editing, so you can see how you're balancing everyone's point and everything. So, Verna, yes. What kind of awards are you winning for this movie? Uh, <laughs> awards, okay, my cousin said the best question of the night. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not gonna name all the awards, there's too many, but the, the significant one is, you know, I won um, Wild Screen, the, the Panda Award. And that's kind of a big deal for an Indian filmmaker. And then I won Burbank International, Best Documentary, Prime Minister Jackson Wild, and there's a few more, but... Yeah. Yeah. Like every story has a back story. Uh, this tiger had a tumor. Uh, has there been enough research done on the tumors of um, these big cats? Uh, probably this could have been the reason why he was attacking, because uh, I'm sure this would have started on the day they discovered it. There would have been symptoms way back and when it was developing. So there could be a possibility that his attacks on human was a way to show that he has some issue. I mean, I mean it just, I mean, it's, my imagination, but. Yeah, it's a, it's a good screenplay idea, you know, but uh, I don't think so, no. Uh, I've seen you in the wild when you were there in one of the scenes and all those things. Yeah. And I've, I mean, with you, let's say, this 2014, I saw you last in the wild, and now I'm seeing you. So you can, I have waited for this film. <laughs> All this waiting has Thank it changed you as a person from 2014 until now. Yeah, for sure. The, I definitely changed me. I mean, I, I uh, got very humbled by this film on many levels. And I, I, I didn't ever think I'd be talking to more government officials in my family who actually live here, you know what I mean? It's like, and, and, and so, you know, so for that, in that sense, and also, you know, the activists, like, letting me into their homes and conduct these interviews, the, the, the villagers who were, who were victims and their families, it's very sensitive for me to go in and ask them for these interviews. I had to talk to all of them about what shots to show, what not, because I've got more mutilated footage than I ever want to see. So all of these things, and then for me also, you know, I, I, I'm from here, but I went to the U.S. to study, so I didn't ever think I'd be opening up the Wildlife Protection Act of India and, and reading about this stuff. And, uh, and then, you know, in, in the whole uh, this, the distribution of this film, you know, I thought I had this great film, and, but, I, but there was a pandemic, and then independent film went down, and Netflix stopped buying independent documentaries, so I got, uh, I'm dealing with, you know, distributing the movie and how difficult it is. So, uh, you just sort of realize that, you know, uh, at least for me, you know, it takes a long time to get a result at a high level, and I wish there was more life that I had, you know, because I've put so much time into this, but, yeah. Yes, sir. Has a movie released theatrically in U.S.? Yeah, we had a limited theatrical in the U.S. Okay. Yeah, sim similar to this, but it wasn't, like, now it's 10 screen at the same time in India. Is this my movie? Okay. Ten screen at the same time in India, but but in the U.S. we did it city by city. Okay. So I actually went to every city, and, and it was like this long tour, and I learned quite a bit. And it's it's just released digitally in the U.S. and Canada. It's coming out on Blu-ray in a couple weeks in the U.S. 
which is my favorite format, even though the distributor doesn't want me to do it. Um, and we're looking for distribution internationally, you know, in India. And I want, I really want to release it digitally in India. But I'm so glad that I should mention Anil Tadani Films is taking a big risk by putting this movie out. He does much bigger movies than this, so I'm really glad that he's decided to put this in theaters. And people came today because watching on the big screen to me is you know just much better than looking at it on your phone or iPad or something. So, all right, I think. People in the West? Yeah, how did they react? Yeah, I mean, it's a niche audience. So people who come really like it. And then, you know, it's like similar questions to this. And, you know, will tigers get better? And, like, you know, they have to explain about India and how the culture is different. So there's more cultural questions as to why people are going in to worship a temple and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. I've heard that uh, Noor is again in her fourth liter. If she gives birth to, uh, with the best tiger, Ganesh, so if she gives birth to a male tiger again, uh, would it be, It probably it would be similar uh, to the T24 Ustad. Would you follow the story again for 10, 15 more years? Uh, okay, so so the sad news is Noor's cubs are no more. Oh. So that, that litter didn't make it. She, she's an older tigress. One of her canines are now damaged and she right. can't hunt. So that's just a reality. But, uh, but, but would I do it again? Probably not, unless there's a great story. And that, that right there, that doesn't sound like a great, that's like a really short, tragic story. You know? <laughs> anyway, thank you everyone for coming. Really appreciate it. Really, thank you so much. Lastly, I would just like to say that you know, besides, to too, become new friends. Yeah. Yeah. besides being the director of the movie, he's also the producer, and there was a huge investment involved in the film. The publicity that the movie should have been, you know, uh, given, we have not received that kind of publicity like a normal Bollywood movie does. Do it on social media. Exactly. So I would, uh, you know, it's a humble request that you know, you guys please spread the message and please recommend everyone to watch Tiger 24. Uh, it means a lot to Warren, to me, and to all the title lovers. You are a part of the family. So that's just, just a small message for you guys. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much. Please, if you, if you didn't like it, please some people go to the movie theater to watch it, you know, because we because if we're gonna get killed by the baton or whatever is opening this week. So, <laughs> so just you know to tell them to go watch it in the theaters. Okay. But the movie should go on to all the cities, I feel, for... It, it, uh, cost, it cost me money. To put it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, That's you know, there, yeah, but yeah. it's so yeah, difficult. Find a, find a sponsor, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I'll, I'll do every <laughs> city. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not about not wanting to do it. Yeah. It's about being strategic, you know? So. Let's see. Yeah. If I get an idea, I'll get in touch with you. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Good, 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 good. Now you know it's <laughs> going for so long. Bye, see you soon. See you, see you, see you. See you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great movie, man. Thank you, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, man, thanks for coming. What's your name again? Lala. Lala, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Your answers were fantastic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Warren, thank you so much for this. Meeting. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Keep it up. I'm calling hey, hey. you. How was it? You like it? Listen, I love this question more than anything. Yeah. It's the greatest question of all time. You make a film. You're a filmmaker. Yeah, he's too bold. Let's have dinner one day. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Warren, well done. Yeah, yeah. Great. Thanks. What a lovely story. Thanks. 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 Great. Well done, Warren. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Bender's. Uh, thank you. Thank you. The I Bender's ran Spielberg. Place. I know. Yeah, 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 he yeah, watched. Yeah. He came before I to watch it. Yeah. Bender's Spielberg. Ah, thank you, thank you. Nice. Oh, thank, thank you, nice. thank you, thank you. Thanks for bringing thank this to us. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you for, thank you for coming. Thank you for, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Warren. Thanks thank a lot. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This guy got us here. Yeah, yeah. So Dhruv, Dhruv is Dhruv has become a new friend of mine. So yeah. Yeah. No, no, I'm recommending it to my friends. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Welcome, ma'am. Okay. Welcome, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Warren. Dr. Bob and Dad. Okay. Yes, yes. Good. Hey, good, good, good. Good, good, good. good, good, good. Yeah. And the current uh, forester requirements. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Very welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.
Oh, thank you okay. Much. okay. So but yeah, connect us. We'll yeah, do it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But thank you. congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, Warren. Thank you. Enjoy thank you. Thank you. First time I saw oh. Oh. Okay. I'm so okay. scared to see them in pictures. Oh. <laughs> but now. Okay. <laughs> good experience. Bye, Warren. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Thanks. Hey, thanks, 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 thanks. Very thanks. good. Yeah, I'm coming for shot card. Yeah. Let me know the date. <laughs> Let me know the date. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Good, good, good. I was calling you. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Lovely, thank you. beautiful. Oh, okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. So thank you. proud. I can imagine you have such a good job. Thank you. Let's take a picture. Sure, 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 sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, hi. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, hi. 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 Okay, thank you. No, no, I am here now. No worries. I will give you. Yeah. Hey, how is it? Like that? Good, good, good. Right and full length. Yeah, nice, nice. Fine. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is for me. Thank you. Okay, I'll be surrounded by flowers. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Thank, you. thank you. Sorry, my hands are full. Yeah. Can you take my picture? Yes. Take my picture. Mobile. Thank you. Should we go outside? Yeah, yeah. The next show is starting, so we have to. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how was it? You liked it? Yeah, yeah outside, outside, outside. The next show is starting. Next show is starting. Yeah. How was it? You liked it? Very proud, very proud. Yeah? Good? Yeah. Very, very, very professional. Yeah? You liked it? Take a picture of you. Huh? Full cut. Huh? Yeah, they've seen all the. <laughs> you see too much. Thank you, SB. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Very good. I made them, I colored them a little bit. You noticed? A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Tinted. You tinted it. Yeah, sure. sure. Alright, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want a picture first. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Alright. Yeah. Put it up on the Sure, sure, sure. Thank you. You're there? Alright, alright. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, thank you, thank you. Let's go outside, I'll take it. Sure. We're going here, we're going out here. Outside, on the ground, this area. Morning. Yeah, we're going outside. Okay, we're going outside. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Sujit. So, he did the illustrations. I drove him crazy for a few months, right? <laughs> yes, it was fun. But finally, it's yeah. great to see it on this time. Yeah, yeah. It makes a difference, huh? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice for me. Thank you. Thank no, no. I, I'm telling you, I would say change this too. Change this eye. Right? <laughs> it was worth it. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Drew, do you want to get one with me? Oh, yeah. I use it. When is the next time you bring back to Vietnam? Uh, I was there two weeks ago. Yeah, I saw some photos from Bitcoin's Terrace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'll ask my friends and then I want to get a promo to flip, please. Oh, okay. Which camera am I looking at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's black. All right. In my picture, you're looking somewhere. Oh, okay. Wait, so where should I look? <laughs> this cat. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank my you. Picture is not oh, okay. Okay. Can I? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. Share with you pictures? Oh, pictures. Done. For a future business. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure, sure. Ah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, you gotta wait. Okay. Yeah, so sorry. That's my daughter. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so All much. All right. Sure. 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 Thumbs. Finally, we are getting a picture. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Amazing. Really, really, really yeah. 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 Thank you for everything. Stay in touch, buddy. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Stay in touch. So, see you. See you, see you, see you, see you, see you, see you. What happened? What for it? I'll have to look at it first. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Sorry. How are you? I've been knowing you tonight. In the background, right? 